I am so crazy. All right, so we are a, about a little over a week away from my departure to St. Vincent. So I just left Triple A because I needed to get an international driving permit. Um, we are renting a car and I'm going to be the designated sober driver. And um, so a couple of days ago, the one of the representatives from where, who am I renting this from? From Budget, I think, uh, messaged me and was like, hey, you know, just a reminder, you need to get an international driver's permit uh, for when you arrive, you can do it on island or you can do it at a triple A um, in the U.S. before you arrive. So that's what I did because I do not want to uh, have to deal up with um, getting a ride to the police station, taking it, doing all those things. So I'd rather just do it here. And that's what I just did. They took the picture here and everything. Um, in total, it costs 36, excuse me, it costs 36 U.S., um, for the permit and for the photo that they did, I'm sure you can just take your own passport photo and uh, give it to them as well. But I didn't feel like making two stops, so I just spent the I spent a couple dollars to get that there. So we're good. We're ready to drive. I heard that. I heard she told me that <laughs> I needed to basically have this on me, um, so I could just use this instead of bringing my u.s um information or id driver's license with me while i'm there so that's what i'm gonna do i'm probably gonna get a nice little waterproof something for this so she said that anytime someone asks me for my id this is what i give them so because basically it says that hey you had to give me a u.s id before I could get this, so clearly I have a US ID. So that's that. If you are a CARICOM member, I believe you don't have to go through this. So if you no, if you have a if you're a CARICOM member or a Caribbean something, um, and you have a Caribbean driver's license, you may not need to do this if you are driving in you're gonna be driving in St. Vincent. So that's that. We ready for the road. Almost, 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 almost. I'm Today was the first day that I'm actually getting excited. Um, this is a Thursday, um, and I'm leaving next Sunday. Not this Sunday, but next Sunday. It's time. We're going in Joanne's Fabrics to get... What's that stuff called? Fabric. <laughs> for um, the backpacks that I am making for me and my friends and them. Um, I don't really like coming here because it's the fabric is overpriced, but I don't feel like ordering on Amazon and I need to make these like soon, soon. So let's just go in and hopefully they have the colors that I'm looking for. <laughs> We're going with this nice little lilac-y color because that's all that was there. $6.38 for half a yard. Back in my Jersey days, I could have got a whole yard for $8. Mm. Hello, hi. So <laughs> we are now at nine days before I depart. I am currently testing out a new skincare routine. I am getting the glow, but my nose, which is usually the most shiny area, I put some, um, what is that? Something. I put some primer on my nose, but clearly it is not working. So that's not going to work. So we'll see if what I purchased on Amazon will work. So anyway, woke up today, needed to, today's payday. Um, so I needed to do some final things. I were pressed by on my Amazon shopping cart that I've been building for like the past two weeks. And it's like, okay, do I really need these things? And yes, I do. And this is the day 
to buy them. So did that. I went to Walmart, got some things that I needed, got my shades for the road um, to match my costume. They are also polarized, which I needed and wanted um, because I'm not doing professional makeup. So this eye area is going to be covered because I'm not going to stress trying to, um, you know, do eye makeup and all that. I'm going to do my eyebrows. Of course, I'm going to put on foundation, all that good stuff, do some blush lip is going to be popping and that's it. Um, not stressing it. Going to have lashes on. And of course, but I got a lip liner that I needed. It got my little mini Lysol, uh, spray for the residences that I'll be occupying re up on my wet ones, um, re up on my sponges. What else did I get in here? And I got some Ting's nice colored tank tops that I needed to swap out with my shorts. Cause I'm only bringing like one or two pairs of shorts and just get some tops to, to wear with that. And I got this cute little lavender dress on clearance for $6. I'm trying to, I love purple and I'm, but I don't have a lot of purple gear. So I'm trying to like increase that. And Walmart didn't have black girl sunscreen. So I had to go to Target to get black girl sunscreen in 50 broad spectrum. Why is this $17? Like, I don't recall paying $17 the last time that I bought this, I guess inflation. And then I also got, um, some lip balm from elf. I'll see how I like this. And if I like it, I'll go back and get it the purple one, but it's supposed to be tinted. I just want something that lasts long. I used to use, um, this Burt's Bees lip, um, lip balm and it lasted all day. Right. And you felt moisturized and you felt like it was actually on there. I don't like the oils cause they just feel like it's going to go away. But anyway, I haven't been able to find my Burt's Bees again. Um, but that's what we're doing. And I think now we just wait on our Amazon stuff and I'm going to go home and do some DIY projects. But yeah, clearly primer's not working. So we're going to see if the one that we got from Amazon is going to work. I mean, I don't mind the shine. I just don't want this to be super duper shiny. Like I love a natural glow, but come on. The topic of conversation today. This is what I'm trying to wrap my head around is what people are doing there's this event called um drift which is like an all day situation um and then there's this very popular event called slippery when wet and drift kind of if i'm understanding it correctly like it's a boat ride but it's really like a transportation boat ride where it's dropping people off or picking people up from one fet and then you're getting on the boat you're partying you're doing all this stuff and you're going to the next fet but it's like 10 hours or something like that and i personally just feel like that is too much um control <laughs> I, right and i don't like to feel like i'm being locked in to to that thing for such a long period of time. And then what if things don't go according to plan? Like I'm still stuck. So I, I'm at the point where I'm like, I feel like we're going to see like the skin looks good here. Right. So I'm at the point where I'm like, you know what, I'm going to stick to the original plan, which is just going to slippery when wet. Um, but it's just a matter of how early to leave because I hear that it's a one way in one way out type of situation, which I've dealt with in Trinidad and, and other places. And it's not fun, but it's like, if I leave early enough, will I be okay? And leaving to get there, but also I think I'm not too pressed. I'm not going to be too annoyed leaving the Fed, especially if it's a good time. Right. And having to deal with that traffic, but I don't want to deal with traffic both ways. So I don't know. We'll see what happens, but I just, I don't think my spirit and my personality is set up to be on somebody's boat for that long, right? And rely on that type of transportation, but I don't know, you know, it could be fine, but I also just don't, I don't want to do it because I already have a, anyway, I just don't want to. Okay.
Bency Mass Prep in full effect. So I actually started this process a while ago. It, it's been months in, in the making, starting off with ideas in my head. As soon as like fe- tickets are purchased, I usually try to ask myself, okay, what are you looking for? What look are you going for? What do you think you want to wear to this event? And then we kind of go from there. Now we're what, I'm nine days out from when I'm traveling. So maybe about a week and change ago, maybe, maybe more, maybe two weeks ago, I started actually putting things in the suitcase. So I'm at the point where I finalized the things that I'm wearing to um, the events and then I separated them out. So I have a bunch of layovers. So I'm stopping in Trinidad and I'm stopping in Barbados. And because, and I'm flying on Caribbean Airlines, and because of all of those stops, actually not even because, I typically just make sure that the things that I need that are most important to me are with me in my hand luggage. So I am checking a bag because I'm staying for such a long period of time, but I do have my, ooh, it's kind of heavy, my little cute little um, carry-on with me. So this is the smaller version of the carry-on. There is a larger version as well. I'm not sure if I want to use that. I could upgrade to that, but I really want to try to work with this little mini one. Um, So my Fet clothes for the three fets that I have so far are in here. And then everything else is in the suitcase. Um, and a lot of people tend to ask me like, oh my God, how are you able to travel? How are you able to do content, whatever, with a toddler? And the answer to that is having a solid village. So shout out to... My mom, shout out to my my partner's mom for just being the best, right? They are like on point women and I appreciate them. And my mother just asked for my daughter, right? Like granted coming into parenting, I was like, okay, well, I guess this is the end of, not the end, but you know, I'm not, I mean, it's true. I'm not really traveling the way that I used to, um, but I didn't expect my mother to kind of be so hands-on. So she literally has my child like every other weekend. I'm like, okay, cool. So she's with her now. And I'm like, all right, taking advantage of these opportunities to just get stuff done. Because when she's here, it's kind of like, you you never know what's going to happen. She could be sick. Then I may not have to go to work. You know, like, it's just a lot of things um, that come up. So I'm really, really grateful for the support of the tribe because it's a thing. So again, in my, so I've already, there's a lot happening, let me show you. So big suitcase, little carry on, and then these are all the other things. I just went to the basement to find my bags, um, stuff that I just purchased. This is my backpack and then some shirts and things that I just got. Um, So yeah, it's, it's a lot. And I like to plan in advance because I don't like to rush because typically when I rush, that means that I'm probably leaving some things behind that I actually need. This trip, I am also growing my hair out. So I'm not going to have a baldy and I need to be creative with a lot of things. So I have my wig, one of my wigs, which will be with me in my little carry on. Um, I have my, these are the, uh, thigh high socks that I'm going to wear at my costume. I am using, um, compression bags and these are the types that you don't need the machine. So it's just like a hand, like a hand pump. So this, these are all my fit outfits already like compressed into this bag. So actually it's more than fit outfits. Is it? No. Yeah. Fet outfits and then one extra outfit just in case. So that fits in there. And then I have all, not all, most of the hair accessories. So I'm going to be, because I'm not really a fan of lace front and because I'm like, I just don't want it to look crazy. I am planning to wear head wraps of some sort. I have small ones. I have big ones. I have thin ones. I have thick ones um, in here. I have not compressed this bag yet. So there's still a lot of air in there. I have a, another a tote bag that I always carry with me. 
And then of course, we're going to have the makeup comes with me. The yeah, makeup definitely comes in here. Of course, we're going to have this is all over. This is just a rough draft. My tripod, travel tripod. I do, how do y'all feel about traveling with um neck pillows? I feel like they take up a lot of freaking space. Um, which is why I often don't use them, but because I have so many flights, I'm like, maybe I should take this one. I, debatable. Maybe I'll just put it around my neck. But sometimes people like to be real funny, funny, and and try to count the neck pillow as like a, a personal item. I'm like, you all are pushing it. You're really pushing it. So anyway, we're going to try to consolidate even more. Um, I have, I need this bag, but this is where I store all of my sunglasses and shades and I have to pick out the ones that I'm going to be using and make sure that everybody has a case. So there's a lot to be done and I really just want to be done with this now um, or at least by tomorrow because that is when the last of my things should arrive. Um, I have an Amazon package that should arrive tomorrow with the last of the essentials. Um, I also purchased, because I've, this is a lot, I know this is a lot of information. Because I have added some things to my, not even added, because I started an actual skincare routine and because I now have a lot of things, I got this new um, makeup case. I wanted something brighter and prettier. I'm not really feeling this pattern, but it's okay. But I like the fact that it rolls up and I like the fact that we have multiple compartments that are actually big enough to fit the things that I need. Um, cause this is typically my makeup case, but I just want to be able to see everything so that the process can be simpler. And then I'll use what my other toiletry bag for the actual toiletries and things. So Yes. So makeup and skincare is going to go in here and then all the other things will go in the other bag. And yeah, let's get into it. So we are approximately five, five days out from when I should be beginning my travels to St. Vincent. Um, I just got my last Amazon package that has um, some little containers for my moisturizer and my phone uh, screen protectors. I was going to get a case a special case for like juve and stuff but I'm, I'm opting out because i have my phone is essentially waterproof and i have a backup so usually when i do juve i'll use the backup uh for photos and videos and such and i'll just find a a space to take whatever whatever footage but i think i'm ready for the most part can i talk about how i forgot to pack underwear um, and it wasn't until uh, two days ago that I was like, wait a minute, there's no underwear in here. So underwear is there. I went to Marshall. Marshall's has been seeing a lot of me. I went to Marshall's yesterday because I wanted to secure a strapless bra that was actually secure. Um, so I ended up finding a three pack, which had a black one, a white one, and uh, like a, a brown beige one. And it's good and it comes with straps, it's detachable, but I'm going to use the clear straps with it. So I have some clear straps from the same people who make the Hollywood fashion tape. And I had another pair as well, but that's what I'm gonna do because I just wanna be secure. Strapless bras are very, very annoying. Um, and the clear ones seem to be doing what they need to do. So I'm excited about that. Yeah. What I wanted to do was to pre-order currency so that I wouldn't have to deal with currency exchange when I get there. But um, one of my friends was just like, she's just going to bring uh, US dollars, but in small bills. So like ones and fives and things like that, because 
EC isn't, you know, EC is not like horrible to convert. Um, so I'm like, you know, that's actually a good idea. Instead of like going to the bank, they give you all these big dollars and then you have to deal with that. So, um, yeah, I think that's the next step for probably today. And okay, friends, we are now three days away from, oh, that was a lot. <laughs> Three days away from, wow, just got all my grade. This is a lot. Three days away from departure. And I am currently doing laundry. I am making oatmeal. I'm packing my daughter's bag so that she can be all set and prepared for her trip to go be with my mother while I'm away. Um, so there's a lot of prep like that going on. I got to pack all her toys, the things that she uses often. Um, I don't need to pack clothes because my mother has a whole wardrobe over there, which is a blessing. And so I'm getting ready right now to go to get my pedicure. And then I'm going to come back here and finish up. I just want to check my luggage one more time to make sure the things that are in my carry-on should be in my carry-on and whether I'm not, whether or not I'm like over thinking what needs to be in there. I just don't want them to take my bag. Like I don't want them to take the carry-on because again, it's a lot of layovers. So anyway, um, yeah. So I'm going to go get my toes done tomorrow. I will either tomorrow or tonight after I get back from dropping her off, I will do my DIY nails. Um, while I'm sitting at getting my toes done, I'll try to figure out how I want to design them. Probably just keep it real simple um, and not, not stress it too much, but that is the goal. And so yeah, after this little, um, what do you call it? After the pedicure piece, this will probably be published. So this will likely be the last video before um, the last video until the recap video, unless I decide to give you all like some bonus content, but definitely be sure to tune into my Instagram stories um, and my Instagram account period, because I will be posting my musings on there that I usually do every trip that I, every trip that I take my daily musings. I have a cute little, social media strategy that I'm excited about. I'm going to try to dedicate um, and remember to upload the, the short form content to YouTube, which I struggle with, even though like they're already there, but we're going to make it happen. So, um, but yeah, pedicure, DIY nails tomorrow, and then Packing the little bit of, like, I still have to pack my earrings. I haven't sorted those things out. I did want to make a bracelet because my arm, my right arm is kind of like dry these days, even though I do have a bracelet that I can wear, but it gets annoying. But anyway, that's that. Thank you for watching, <laughs> tuning in, leave a comment, leave commentary. Let me know if any of these things that I do, you do, or if there's something that you learned uh, by watching this video, but I am very much looking forward to this trip. It, the vibes because of not only like just the hype around it, the people that are going, like it's very reminiscent of, uh, Jamaica carnival 2017. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm excited to be amongst my people. I'm excited for this new experience, this new, uh, country that I'm about to explore. Like it's going to be a good time. I'm excited to be in costume again. Oh my God. It's been, well, it's only been a year, but still anyway. All right. That's it. I'm going to catch y'all on the next video.